Hi friends, I'm Purva and today we will discuss the following question. Using integration, find the area of the region enclosed between the circles x square plus y square is equal to 1 and x minus 1 whole square plus y square is equal to 1. Let us begin with the solution now. Now the equation of the circle is of the form x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square where A, B are the coordinates of the center of the circle and R is the radius of the circle. Now here the equations of the circles are x square plus y square is equal to 1 and x minus 1 whole square plus y square is equal to 1. Now comparing this equation x square plus y square is equal to 1 with the equation x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. We can clearly see that here radius is equal to 1 and the coordinates of the center of the circle are 0, 0. And comparing the equation x minus 1 whole square plus y square is equal to 1 with this equation x minus a whole square plus y minus b whole square is equal to r square. We can clearly see that here the coordinates of the center of the circle are 1, 0 and the radius of the circle is 1. Now we represent these both circles on the graph. Now here this is the circle whose equation is x square plus y square equal to 1. Now here we can clearly see that the radius of the circle is equal to 1 unit and the coordinates of the center of the circle are 0, 0. And this is the circle whose equation is x minus 1 whole square plus y square equal to 1. Here again the radius of the circle is 1 unit and the coordinates of the center of the circle are 1, 0. Now here we mark this as equation 1 and we mark this as equation so 1 implies y square is equal to 1 minus x square. Now putting this value of y square in this equation 2 we get x minus 1 whole square plus 1 minus x square is equal to 1. Or we can write this as, now x minus 1 whole square can be written as x square minus 2x plus 1. Since we know that a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So applying this formula here we get x minus 1 whole square is equal to x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 1 minus x square is equal to 1. Now here x square x square cancels out. So we get minus 2x plus 2 is equal to 1. Or we can write this as minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore we get x is equal to 1 upon 2. Now here in this figure, this shaded portion is the region enclosed between the two circles and also the figure is symmetric about x-axis, so the area of this shaded portion is given by. Now since this figure is symmetric about x-axis, so if we find the area of O, A, C, D, A and multiply it by 2, we will get the area of this shaded portion. Now, area of O, A, C, D, A is equal to area of O, A, D, O plus area of D, A, C, D. So, we have the area of the shaded portion is equal to two into area of O A D O plus area of D A C D
this is equal to 2 into integral of limit from 0 to 1 by 2 as this point D has coordinates 1 by 2 0 and this circle has equation x minus 1 whole square plus y square is equal to 1 therefore we have area of OADO is equal to integral of limit from 0 to 1 by 2 under root of 1 minus x minus 1 whole square dx now the equation of this circle is x square plus y square equal to 1 so we get y is equal to under root of 1 minus x square and here the limit is from 1 by 2 to 1 so we get plus now area of DACD is equal to integral of limit from 1 by 2 to 1 under root of 1 minus x square dx now this is equal to 2 into now integrating under root of 1 minus x minus 1 whole square we get x minus 1 upon 2 into under root of 1 minus x minus 1 whole square plus 1 upon 2 sine inverse x minus 1 and we have limit is from 0 to 1 by 2 this is since we know that integral of under root a square minus x square is equal to 1 upon 2 into x into under root of a square minus x square plus a square by 2 sine inverse x upon a plus c. So applying this formula here we get x minus 1 upon 2 into under root of 1 minus x minus 1 whole square plus 1 upon 2 sine inverse x minus 1. Here we can clearly see that a is 1 and x is x minus 1 plus now again applying this formula here we get x upon 2 into under root of 1 minus x square plus 1 upon 2 into sine inverse x and here limit is from 1 by 2 to 1. This is further equal to 2 into now putting the limits here we get putting upper limit 1 by 2 in place of x we get 1 by 2 minus 1 upon 2 into under root of 1 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 whole square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse 1 by 2 minus 1 minus putting lower limit that is 0 we get 0 minus 1 by 2 into under root of 1 minus 0 minus 1 whole square plus 1 by 2 sin inverse 0 minus 1 now here putting the limits we get first we put upper limit 1 in place of x and we get plus 1 by 2 into under root of 1 minus 1 square plus 1 by 2 sine inverse 1 minus putting lower limit 1 by 2 in place of x we get 1 by 2 upon 2 into under root of 1 minus 1 by 2 whole square plus 1 by 2 into sine inverse 1 by 2. This is equal to 2 into now solving 1 by 2 minus 1 upon 2 we get minus 1 by 4 into under root of 1 minus now 1 by 2 minus 1 gives minus 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 whole square is equal to 1 upon 4. So we get 1 minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 into sine inverse. 1 by 2 minus 1 gives minus 1 by 2 minus 0 minus 1 by 2 gives minus 1 by 2 under root of 1 minus now 0 minus 1 whole square is equal to 1 square that is 1 so we get under root of 1 minus 1 plus 
वन अपॉइंट टू इंटू साइन इन वर्स माइनस वन प्लस वन बाय टू इंटू नाउ अंडर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वी गेट वन बाय टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन बाय टू इंटू साइन इन वर्स वन माइनस नाउ वन बाय टू अपॉन टू इज इक्वल टू वन अपॉन फोर सो वी गेट वन अपॉन फोर इंटू अंडर रूट ऑफ वन माइनस नाउ वन बाय टू होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर प्लस वन बाय टू इंटू साइन इन वर्स वन बाय टू दिस इज इक्वल टू टू इंटू माइनस वन बाय फोर इंटू Now under root of one minus one by four is equal to under root of three by two plus one by two into now sine inverse minus one by two is equal to minus pi by six. So we get one by two into minus pi by six minus now under root of one minus one is equal to zero. So we get minus zero minus One by two into now sine inverse of minus one is equal to minus pi by two, so we get minus one by two into minus pi by two plus now one by two into zero is zero plus one by two now sine inverse one is pi by two, so we get one by two into pi by two minus. One by four into now under root of one minus one by four is equal to under root of three by two, so we get one by four into root three by two plus one by two. Now sine inverse one by two is equal to minus pi by six, so we get one by two into minus pi by six. This is further equal to two into minus root three by eight minus pi by twelve plus pi by four plus pi by four minus root three by eight minus pi by twelve. This is equal to. Two into now solving this bracket we get pi by three minus root three by four, which is further equal to two pi by three minus root three by two square units. So we have got our answer as two pi by three minus root three by two. square units hope you have understood the solution bye and take care